I said leave! Woohoo! Ah! Woo! 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 How's it going everyone? My name is Swingpoint and this is another RPG Maker horror game, The Crooked Man. There's no menu music, so let's get straight into it. It's kind of creeping me out. This game contains sudden surprises. Oh boy, jump scares. <laughs> ah! oh! Oh! And harsh images, the weak of hearts and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. It's so cheery. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they lived all together in a crooked little house. This is a nursery rhyme, I'm pretty sure. I know there's some, just just based off of The Wolf Among Us, I know that there's some sort of history in fairy tales with the crooked man. But anyway, let's get into the story here. Phew, finally things look tidy here. Now that should be that. Is there anything you want us to help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. <laughs> I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. That must be Marion. That one must be Paul. And he has a really loud door. Oh, God. So I must be David. In fact, I know I'm David because I have this little thing called the description here. And I'm going to read it to you so you guys get an idea as to what this game is about. First off, RPG Maker Horror Game. The description says David Hoover, our character here, decides to move into a new apartment during a rough time in his life. After some odd occurrences, he decides to ask about the room's former owner but he learns little, so he sets off in search of him, strangely compelled to know more about this man, which I'm guessing is the Crooked Man. But now let's just start interacting with things so we can actually get somewhere, and this crack in the wall looks pretty suspicious. There's a large crack in the wall. <laughs> okay. And you guys know how I do walkthroughs. I don't show you things that don't matter, so I'm gonna cut out all these interactions I have with things that don't seem to mean anything. Like, this This is a stove, this is a fridge, this is a sink. Nobody really cares in the long run of things. So I'm going to cut those things out so you guys have the most gameplay possible in the shortest amount of time. So with that being said, I'm gonna stop talking and let's move on with it. Huh. Jeez, Paul forgot his license. I should go get it to him and see if he's still around. Got Paul's license, so let's take a look around here. Loudest doors in the universe. Can't leave. Dot dot dot. You hear someone. What? What's that noise? What's that? This? What? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? That does not sound like that. those words. He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Oh. Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy I know. He can't even afford much furniture. Oh, is that Paul and Marion talking out there? Besides, you told me to look for a new place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Oh, that's interesting. I, for a moment, I thought that was like his subconscious speaking, but it seems as though it was his friends, Marion and Paul. Can I pee? I don't want to go. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Hi, phone! Hello? Hello? Let me answer it! Okay. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Shirley? Uh, I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Can I move now? I can move. That's good. That was creepy, man. Why? Why does it gotta start out like that, man? Oh. Well, let's get into the bed here. Is this all I gotta do? Man, I'm tired. Sleepy time. <laughs> I, I don't. I. <laughs> you hear that crying? <laughs> Ugh, somebody really crying. I can't sleep through this. <laughs> Is that one of my neighbors? <laughs> I should go complain. Why would I, uh, Is it? Oh, he's still crying. That's so weird. Which one would it be? Oh, are you crying? 206 looks to be empty. Are you crying? Who am I? I must be two. I'm 205. Okay. Are you crying? 202. There's no one crying this far down. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room. It's even making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? 
kind of assuming that she's crying. You don't even know. Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Why are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved in 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Which, duh. How do you not get this, David? Er, uh, yes, though. Duh. Sorry for waking you by now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it, was it just my imagination? Probably was, David. Whatever. Better get back to sleep. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh! The noises in this game are just so sudden. Ugh! Toilet's out of control, man. Don't want to go. Who's want- the Yikes! The water's the faucet busted! Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Under the bed. Okay, this is creeping me out, man. Creeping me out. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. How would Paul be doing this right now? He can't probably get into the apartment. Unless you gave him an extra key so he can actually get into the building. Because usually how apartments work because there's two keys. One for your room and then one for the complex itself so you don't have homeless people hanging out in it. So Paul probably is not doing this. David, you... David seems a little dumb. <laughs> That's my impression so far. Under the bed. Huh. What's down there? Let's take a look. Huh, I found something. I got a scrap from a notebook. Probably the Crooked Man's. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing? I think that's how you say it. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Ah, so this is all the questions start about who the heck lived here before. Ah, whatever. I'm going to bed. Makes sense. We <laughs> quit crying. Why is he crying? That sound still. Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. That's how I feel when Larry the cat sneezes on my face all night. I just want to sleep, man. I just want to sleep. Is it down? Ah! What with the noise? It's just so out of nowhere and it's so loud in here. Shut up. Shut up. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean to. Just busy with work, so. Is it a telemarketer? Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Uh huh. Okay, bye. This is not a telemarketer. Man, I, I slept until noon. But it's nine o'clock on your clock, dude. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. So where are we going? You better go where? Go this way. Oh. Hi, Paul. How's it going? Paul, what is it? Uh, yeah. I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. I was gonna bring it to you. Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. I need to make a voice for Paul. I'm gonna make a voice for Paul. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you, uh, did you write something on my bathroom mirror? Huh? Oh, write something on the mirror? What kind of challenge Brad would take me for, David? <laughs> That's gonna be his voice. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. We're going to the hospital. And it's really loud in the- no, I can't stand you. What? Can't stand who? <laughs> what? What's that noise? I know you're there. I don't need to go in here. Who's talking? Is that my- Hello? Who are you? Mom! It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. What? Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you much. I've I've just been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting does worry me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David, remember? Oh, yes. That, the big... What? She's so everywhere. They opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Does she have Alzheimer's or dementia or something like that? Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? She has to. She has Alzheimer's or dementia. And usually what happens is they'll be fine, 
and they'll flip out and be so scared and confused and she's gonna freak out. I'm calling it. She's gonna lose it. How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Mom. Woo! Get out or I'll have you thrown out! Told you! Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room! Get him out now! Nurse! Mrs. Hoover! Abby is Doc and Nurse. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Just leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take good care of her. And that, that radio is just kind of... That, that ra ambient radio has been getting to me this whole time. It definitely is good filler. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? She sees everywhere. Surprise! Mom! They're not gonna let me come back in. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave! Woohoo! Ah! Woo! Woo! Whoa! This is over, please calm down! Oh god, break the sedatives! Holy crap, Batman! What's up, Doc? You got anything for me? Oh, da, David, do you see your mother? Yeah, I, well, I guess she still doesn't know me. I'm gonna give him a voice now, too. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks, I hope you can help her. Okay, well, it looks like I am back here. So far, this is a very interesting- Why am I not- This is not my room. Here we go. Hello? Wait. Chair should be lined up right here, right? What are you doing over here? Right? Right? This is what you do when you have to puke. You sit in front of the gar crash can. You don't just set it up that way. An old computer. Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. I got a leaflet for a school. Okay. Yeah. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody here going to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Ah! See, now that's just weird, because usually in an apartment building, they would look through everything to make sure nothing was forgotten. So it seems as though things are suspiciously placed here by the old man to make sure that da- WHY DO YOU KEEP EFFING WITH ME PHONE?! SHUT UP! SHUT UP! SHUT UP! Hello? Oh, hey David, how are you doing? Now this is Marion. <laughs> you saw me just yesterday, I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay, just, just tell her I don't need her to worry. She should look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. <laughs> Alright, see you. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Uh, is Shirley his ex-girlfriend, maybe? Uh, I'm tired of reading, I should go to bed. Yeah? Ooh, I can move again! Ha ha! Ha <laughs> ha, what were we reading? I wouldn't be surprised if Shirley is his ex-girlfriend because he decides to move to a new apartment during a rough time in his life, so maybe he moved because him and Shirley, you know, kind of had a fallout, and now he's on his own to- <laughs> Oh my god, stop it! Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up! Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? God, God! Oh, 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 microphone, he okay? He fell, he fell over. Okay, okay, well, let's just sit. Ah! <laughs> you know what? I got a new table so my microphone couldn't fall down when things got bad, but he still tips over anyway. I think he fainted. He was so scared. <laughs> ah! What was that? that? This is creepy. <laughs> Did it say sink? What was that? Yes, it definitely said sink. Well, let's take a look at the sink. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. I got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together 
in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this under the sink? I guess it's the previous tenant. You know, I'm understanding why he wants to figure out who was here, because there's a lot of really odd pieces of paper around here. Yeah, this is so strange. I should just go to sleep and forget about it. How do you how do you sleep after something like that, David? Huh? How do you actually go to bed? I keep wanting to end the recording, but this game's really interesting so far, so I just keep playing. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Well, I guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... 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 <laughs> He's crying. Is that a kid I hear? Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. This game looks really interesting so far. I'm super excited to keep playing it. I feel like it's a really good mix so far of story and jump scares, or like the scary atmosphere. So I'm really excited to see what this, ha this story has to bring. I feel like there's gonna be so much that I'm going to discover, or sh I should say that we're going to discover together. So I look forward to bringing you more. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Meow. Goodbye! How's it going everyone? My name is Wayne Pointer. I'd like to welcome you to what is probably the most requested game on this channel, Mad Father. I know it's a great game, I'm super excited.